Well, you know, when, when I was growing up, I grew up in the projects. And there was an artist. His name is Mel Casas. And he used to be my neighbor. And he used to teach at the same high school that I went to. And he would give me a ride to school in the mornings. And then during the weekend or, or after school, he would um, show me his, his work. And that kind of, that was the first influence that I had to become an artist. But back then, you know, there were very few uh, role models as far as Chicano artists and so I gave it up. I gave it up until I moved back to California and started uh, while working and being a machinist. I started going to galleries and museums and then I was motivated. I was starting to get motivated back into into the arts and then I started uh, LA Junior College when there went there to take math classes for my machine work but then at the same time I was getting interested in the arts and there was there's a lot of artists now that I know that were going to East LA Junior College at the same time I was going to even though I never met them and then kind of uh, deja vu met them back back uh, later in, in art shows but uh, anyway so I got back interested because my late wife gave me a, uh, a uh, chest of, uh, of oil paints to motivate me and she's the one that actually motivated me to go into to the arts, back into the arts. And in order to do that, to be able to, to be successful as an artist, I would probably have to go back to school. So I got my degree and I got my master's and so that, that was the, uh, the motivation behind me becoming an artist. La Gebe was a student of mine, like all the, my subject matters in my paintings and works. And I chose her because of her attitude. And all of my students have that attitude that uh, we develop in the barrio, which is uh, an attitude of defiance or being uh, self-righteous. And, and it is a, a defense mechanism, a way of surviving in the neighborhood. And the reason I did this students was because they all reminded me of my environment because a lot of the students that were were my students grew up in the same neighborhood that I grew up in and they had I went uh, to California and all over the United States and came back for oh, let's say 10 years afterwards to teach in the same neighborhood that I was that I grew up in and they, they encountered the same situations that I encountered, which was violence, uh, drugs, gangs, uh, dysfunctional families. And that was the same thing that I experienced when I was growing up in the same neighborhood. And after 10 years or whatever it was, uh, it hadn't changed. It hadn't changed at all. That's why I decided to record their experiences. I didn't do it intentionally. It, it just worked out that way. Mm -hmm. I guess you could call it destiny. Uh, because, you know, I went to live in California after graduation from high school and then worked in a defense plant, became a machinist, and then I decided to go into education to become, um, become an art teacher. Uh, and it, it just so happens that that, uh, that position was available when I started teaching, that, that 
it just worked out. You know, it, it, it was just destined for me to go back to the neighborhood. I went all the way around the country and wind up in the same neighborhood that I grew up in. Um, yes, but you know, when I was teaching, I wasn't really thinking about being a, a role model. Uh, I was just trying to do the best I could to teach uh, young students art. And I knew that not all of them would become artists, but I would try to instill on them the best that they can do in whatever field they, they went into. And it, it's, it just so happened that I have a, a lot of students that went into the arts. Some of them I know who they are and some of them I don't. Uh, recently I'm having a, or I had a, uh, an exhibition at the Rubin Center at the University of Texas at El Paso. And a lot of five of my ex-students that went into the arts did a, a mural on in my honor. And, and which was, you know, a very humbling uh, occasion. And that mural is going to go back, and they're going to put it in the in, in La Boy, which is the high school that I taught. You know, it, it really hasn't influenced my work, but it has. Um, uh, directed me in the new media uh, so that I can uh, portray some of my images in a new medium that is pretty much comparable to what I do with the airbrush and um, and that's why it, it, it has been a great experience to work with the sprinters who, that are very knowledgeable with uh, Logan and Jonathan, they're very knowledgeable about printmaking, more so than I did. I used to, when I was in school, I did a lot of printmaking, but that was a long time ago, and it has advanced dramatic, dramatically. So they, they have taught me a lot of new things that I can incorporate. I think I'm gonna be doing more, more prints, um, because I really like the medium and I like the way that Jonathan and Logan work, so I'll be—I'll definitely be back for some more prints. Mm -hmm.